Hello friends, today let's solve find first and last position of element in sorted array. In this question, given an array of integers numbers sorted in ascending order, we need to find the starting and ending position of a given target value. Every time you solve sorted, you may have to think of binary search. In this case, the follow-up, could you write an algorithm with big O log n runtime complexity? Big O log n also indicate we can use binary search. In a typical binary search question, we only need to find one value. If yes, we return its index. But as it has duplicates in this array, we can find the starting and ending index. So can we just apply two binary search function, one for the first position, the other for the last position? Does it make sense? Yes. How to apply binary search? OK, we can use two binary search functions. One is called find first, and the other is called find last. When we apply the find first, we want to go left as possible. So we, we are thinking, what is the situation that we, we have to go right? That is the number's middle value is. If it's less than the target, we have to go right. In the opposite uh, situation, number's middle greater or equal than target, we just uh, go left. You still remember the binary search template we have to indicate the low and high. This is the search scope. And every time we get the middle value, the middle usually we write low equal to high minus low divide two. Uh, because we want to avoid the integer overflow. And every time we compa compare this value with the target. Okay, just a, a little bit of difference. In the find, find last, we want to go right as possible. So we are thinking, what's the situation we have to go left? That is, numbers middle is great than target. That means we have to go left. Otherwise, we just keep go the right position. OK, so now let's convert it to code. It will make it more clear. So first, we get the n, n is the numbers length. And uh, the left equal to find uh, first. We pass the numbers target and uh, n. The right is find uh, last numbers target n. In the end, we just return a new integer array. We pass the left and the right. OK, now let's write the find uh, first. We pass the numbers, the target, the n, the search scope, low equal to 0, high equal to n minus 1. The index, we, initi we initiate it to negative 1. OK, how about the while loop? Should we write the equal sign? Yes, because we have to return a value. So we need to search every position. In that case, we have to write the equal sign. The middle will equal to low plus high minus low divide 2. We compare if numbers middle, the situation is when it's less than target. We have to go right. Go right, that means low equal to middle plus 1. Otherwise, the high will equal to middle minus 1 and check if the number's middle equal to target. Then the index will equal to middle. And we return the index. Now let's write the find the last in the numbers target and then low equal to 0, high equal to um, minus 1. The index will equal to negative 1 as well while low less or equal than high, we get uh, the middle equal to low plus high minus low over 2.
Okay, the only situation we need to go to left is that numbers middle is great than target. Then we go left. So high will equal to middle minus one, else the low will equal to middle plus one. Check if the numbers, sorry, it's numbers, not number. Okay, if numbers middle equal to target, then the index will equal to middle. Return index. Okay, so I think the only thing you may have to consider is what's the situation that we must go the other direction. The rest is keep uh, going the oriented direction. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.